from VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point, brought to you by Ashley Regional Medical Center. I'm your host, Chris Piner. Joining me in the studio today, we have Tina Christofferson and Janessa Ross to talk about the summer's Alive After Five event, right? The winner is here today. <laughs> yep. Congratulations, Janessa. Thank you. It's so good to have you both here. Thank it's you. It's a favorite thing that happens around here every summer. And uh, it's been going for a little while, hasn't it, Tina? You've been invo involved from the beginning, haven't you? From yes. the get-go. Yes, yes I have. We, um, we've been doing it, we figured, 10 years this year. And it just has flown by. I can't I believe it. I remember the first year. It's been 10 already? Yes. Whoa. Yes. Was Janessa wasn't even barely born. <laughs> she was little. Right? <laughs> Back Hi. then. <laughs> you don't ever remember a time without a live after five, do you? It's just no. always been here, hasn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <t> Almost. <laughs> I know. I, all right. Uh, Tina, tell us a little bit, just for in case there are any of our viewers who don't know what the event is, tell us a little bit about what this is, what happens. Well, a live after five is, is a free community event that happens every summer. Um, it's on Thursday nights. We hold it at. Um, the, oh my gosh, the amphitheater at Western Park. And um, it started out at Colorado Rock Park and we kind of outgrew that. And so now we're at Western Park in the amphitheater and it's turned into somewhat of a, a famous singing contest. It's kind of our own little American Idol. Right. Um, where the, the contestants come and sing for us every week. It goes for four weeks. And then the audience gets to vote for their favorite each night at the end of the performance. And um, we eliminate contestants along the way down to final four. And you're, you're witnessing the winner this year. <laughs> so. Now, we should say also, just for sake of clarification, that the competition for this year is ended already. Oh. As of the viewing of this, right? That's why we have a winner right here. So it's already over, but uh, are, do you have a committee? That, that are, how, how are you involved in this? Well, that's, it's interesting you ask. Um, when we first started it, my husband and I kind of started the event. He, um, he always said, you know, it'd be really nice if there was just some activity going on downtown in Vernal on a weeknight. People could stay and maybe listen to some music. And, and so we kind of modeled it after um, Boise, Idaho. Some friends of ours live there. They have a thing called Alive After Five where there's a lot of action and, and a festival type feel going on in downtown Boise. And we kind of decided to try and bring something like that here. Um, and then the radio station that I work for kind of took it over from there. So um, uh, the Fox 98.5 became really involved and now it's, it's our baby. We do it every year. So. And it, it became kind of a big deal the very first year, didn't it? I mean, it, it really didn't even take a long time for it to pick up, as, as I recall. No, it took off really it, well. We had great community support <laughs> and, and um, a lot of people helping sponsor it and make it happen. And people jumped in and volunteered. And so, yeah, we've, we've been able to offer some really good prize money to the contestants, which is nice because... Um, because then you get really good talent every year because, um, you know, there it's, it's asking a lot to ask these people to come out and sing every week and prepare new songs every week and put themselves out there and perform for us for, you know, um, so that we can have an audience come and enjoy themselves. So. All right. Now, I want to talk a little more about prize money and that kind of thing later. I'll let Janessa tell me about some of that, right? I'll bet you know all the details <laughs> on that. And, uh, but I want to ask you, are you already planning next year's? Is there, is there a lot of planning that goes into it? Or are you just kind of in that stage where you're saying, yeah, we'll do it again? You know, we, yeah, we are definitely planning it for next year. And we're always looking for, you know, so the word's out there, people. If you want to participate, start thinking about it now. <laughs> we'll be calling for um, contestants in about June. We'll put it on the radio and um, start. June at, of, we should say, the year, again, for of the sake of 2013. 2013. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and we'll start asking for contestants and we'll audition, you know, audition them and um, take 10 contestants and... I'll compete. Well, that's kind of an interesting thing now. You've opened up another question. So it's uh, it's not like a sign up kind of thing. It is, but then there's an audition. Mm -hmm. So not everybody makes the actual no. competition. Is that how? No, and it's kind of funny because we do a digital audition, essentially. They send in their their song on tape or CD or MP3. Did you do this, Janessa? You yes. sent in a little little thing. I did. <laughs> what was yours? And then we'll get back to what was your... Um, do you remember what you sang for it? I sang... Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't even remember. Um, a there lot of things happened. It was beautiful. Then, it? 
Do you I remember? Know. We should I ask you. I don't remember people. the song, but <laughs> I, I should have put Tina on remember. the spot. <laughs> so. Better than I do. Yeah, for um, sure. What was it? Was it like uh, something sat in front of your computer camera and recorded yourself, or did you have family do this? How did, how did you? Um, I've actually went into a recording studio before and recorded a CD, and so um, I just did use the CD that I had actually recorded from. It was just audio. Yes. They didn't see you. No, just audio, oh, and then really? you sign papers. Well, you must have been so pleasantly surprised to see the beautiful face behind that Absolutely. beautiful voice, right? And I have to say, the first time I heard Janessa sing live, I got goosebumps. Wow. I got goosebumps. I yeah. thought she is a contender. She's very much a contender All in this right. contest. So. All right. I've got a lot more questions to ask you. We've got to take a quick <laughs> crisp, uh, <laughs> commercial break. But did you have a name for that CD? Let's give a little plug for your CD. Uh, no, just, it's just you. Just me singing, um, pretty much karaoke songs. That's kind of so. a good. Oh, all right, all right. Now let's. I've got an advice for you. Then it's just going to be Janessa Ross. It's just me. Yeah. Right? There what do you, you think? Go. There huh? we go. We want to All right, I like it. Remember that when you get I rich will and famous. Remember that. All right. all right, we'll be right back to hear more from Tina and Janessa after this message from our sponsor, Ashley Regional Medical Center. Hello, I'm Cy Hutt. I'm the CEO at Ashley Regional Medical Center. You know, these days you hear the word quality a lot in advertising, but there's a big difference between talking about quality and practicing it. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, quality means two things. First, customer service. We hold ourselves accountable for giving each individual patient a positive health care experience. The results? In an inpatient satisfaction survey from the end of 2011, Ashley Regional scored better than 70% of U.S. hospitals. Second, quality is following nationally recognized clinical standards. The leading organization in America for setting and monitoring quality standards is the Joint Commission. In fact, Medicare uses a Joint Commission to ensure that its policies and rules are in effect to protect patient safety as well as improve treatment results. Ashley Regional Medical Center has been Joint Commission accredited since 1996 and is the only hospital in Northeast Utah accredited by the Joint Commission. So what does this mean to you? When you need hospital care, you can be confident that Ashley Regional is committed to and delivers quality care to you and your loved one. Welcome back to Local Point. Joining me is Tina Christofferson and Janessa Ross. We're talking about Alive After Five, the contest that already happened this year, right? So we have the founder. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? It's been kind of, I'll say that. You don't have to say it. You just smile. Founder, <laughs> Tina Christofferson, and also... Uh, one of. One <laughs> of. One of. All right. Fair enough. So I knew she'd say something else. And, and this year's winner, right? Mm -hmm. Is this your first uh, appearance in a, like an interview or anything afterwards? Have you been yes. doing these like crazy? No. Never. All right. All first right. Time. She's going to be, she's, she's got it, right? She's she can be, be famous. famous. And you remember no. your first show right here on Local Point. Right? <laughs> no. All right. Now, listen, we, we were talking before we left about your, uh, your audition. You sent in a CD. You had already made this CD. Yeah. How did you do that? I mean, you, how do you just make a CD? Did you, I mean, you must have known singing was something you enjoyed. Um, well, I've always enjoyed singing. Um, I just haven't really been pushed to do it in front of people until... Where do you, uh, where do, you do it? Then You knew you could sing. Is it just in the car or in the, the shower? The car, yep. <laughs> shower, definitely. Yeah, and I mean everybody, right? Your that's bedroom. What, that's what we do. So, so you knew, you knew that you could sing. You could do what you hear other people do. You knew you yeah. could do that, <laughs> right? So tell me about the, the, the CD that you made. Um, my Uncle Charlie, he... Um, recorded a CD with a guy um, in Park City and he contacted my dad and I and we were invited to his studio and just recorded a couple songs that I had been singing in the car at a talent and, and like show. We just said, yeah, <laughs> right, just right. songs that my dad enjoyed and especially my grandparents. Give me, a, give me one of them. Can you mention um, one of them that was on this? The one that makes my grandma cry every time, There You Are by Martina McBride. All right. And so yeah. we recorded that one and they just produced the CD and we got a stack of them and sent them to family members for Christmas presents and Now you so. you just you mentioned your uncle Charlie mm -hmm. like he like he's uh, it sounds like we're on the Beverly Hillbillies or something. My <laughs> uncle Charlie. But tell them who did, who is your uncle Charlie? Charlie Jenkins. Right, cuz we know Charlie. Yeah, we know <laughs> yes. him, but we don't know him as Uncle Charlie like you do. Yeah, we know him. Well, how cool personally. is that? That's a pretty neat thing. He's yeah. he's established some pretty big connections, and the Basin is so proud of him. Yes. You're next, Janessa. Uh, 
You're next. <laughs> we'll see where it yeah. goes. Yeah, what do you yeah. think? I said, I mean, would you like to do some of this kind of thing? It's, Got a little taste of it here. Yeah, it's very exciting and definitely has been pushing me out of my comfort zone a lot. And so I've really grown a lot and learned a lot. And so it's been a good experience for me to do it. So. Right. Right. Well, I'm, I take. I missed the the competition this year. I'm so sad that I, I missed it. But uh, if your voice is anywhere near as wonderful as your charm, you're just delightful. <laughs> and you. I think the camera is going to love you. So you've got to you've got you've got to keep going with this. Thanks. Right. What do you think, Tina? Oh, absolutely. That, the thing that we love about Alive After Five is it gives young talent or talent in the base, and not even necessarily young talent, because we had grandmas participating on Alive After Five. But it gives them a, a place to showcase what they can do, and it's you. I'm amazed every year. Amazed that people come out of the woodworks like Janessa that I don't know, I'm not familiar with. She comes out and sings and just knocks our socks off, and and the audience picked her. The audience right. picked her as the winner, and there were four in the final four that were amazingly talented people, and she won. That's so. got to just feel good, and I, yeah. I know there's a humility that you're not going to say, well, yes, it did, but, yeah. but it's got to feel good, that kind of accomplishment, and to take it from your, your car and home out onto the stage to share that talent with other people. It's a very important thing, yeah. and it feels good, doesn't it? Is there there's a, something, uh, can you describe that feeling when, when you're performing on stage and the audience is is right there with you, listening and applauding. It's um, it's overwhelming to me. I just, I don't know, I really just couldn't even believe that I'd won. I went into this mostly for experience, just because um, you have to sing every week if you keep going. And so it wasn't just kind of a one-time talent show thing. So it really pushed me and, um, it's one thing to do a one-time talent, yeah, practice that one song exactly. over and over and over again. Another one to, oh, I made it. I got to do another song <laughs> next week. Yeah. Right? So it was really, it was a really good experience. And so just coming out, winning the whole thing was just crazy. I couldn't even <laughs> believe it. It was really overwhelming. So. Well, that congratulations on that. Now, Thanks. in addition to just the intrinsic feeling, um, there were prizes we talked about. What did you? What What were some of those prizes? What'd you get for winning? Um, I got one thousand two hundred dollars. Woohoo! So <laughs> man, it was worth it. So yeah. Nice. Do you have plans with that money, or is that is, no? Um, well, I'm gonna save set up a lot another recording. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I'll probably save a lot of it, you know, for going into college next year. But um, I am going to Disneyland with my friends. Nice. So <laughs> I was hoping yeah. we're going to Disneyland. We're going Very to Disneyland. Good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Well, I, uh, congratulations. I'm Thank very you. proud of you. I can't wait to hear. Maybe I'll have to get the, uh, the It's Just Me CD if you have any of those left, right? Then yeah. I'll just sign it. Then. <laughs> anyway, very good. Tina, thank you so much for everything you do for the program. Oh, and we'll see it again next year. Can Janessa do it again? Or once you're a winner, uh, other people come in? They, we do um, allow them to come back the next year. Usually they don't. Usually most people. She'll be on to bigger and better things. Right, then, right. right. Not, not that there's much bigger and better than a live <laughs> five it's amazing yeah. right but, right yeah. but um, yeah we we do allow winners to come back we've had winners come back years past but I don't think they, the all-star edition yeah. all right we all should right. well <laughs> thank idea. you both for being here thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for what you do congratulations to you Janessa thank I know you. it's not gonna be the last we hear of this one and thank you for watching today's show that's all for now please join us next time right here on VTV channel 6